Think about it. You're starting a new high school and you get to pick a mascot. How cool is that? Some students in Sandy, Utah got that chance and went with Cougars. You can understand the choice. Tough, fierce, native of the area, and heck, BYU is just down the road. But the superintendent said no, decided to go with Chargers. David S. Doty explained some see Cougars as a middle-aged woman on the prowl for younger men. What? Really? Are you kidding me? Where is this man's mind? It got me thinking how many schools in the state of Washington would be looking for new names if this guy was in charge. With Cougars out, 12 Washington high schools would be nameless, including three with religious affiliations. But wait, there are more. Morton and Othello, you'll be looking for a new name. Yep, Huskies. Don't you think of fat kids? I do. Seven others would be on the mascot market. Gone because of USC and Oregon State. Think about that one. How about Evergreen State College? The, the Gooey Ducks? No more. And the Whitman Missionaries? Do you really have to ask? Thank goodness the all-girls school in Spokane, Marycliff, closed. I can't come up with anything, but I'm sure Dolly's is evil in all parts. I'm not even going to touch the mascot at Waterville High School. Your thoughts on this can be sent to my email address, are you kidding me, at 700ESPN.com. That's are you kidding me, at 700ESPN.com.